Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to deploy anti-malware for Azure VMs. Let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logged on to the portal. So see what happens is uh, there is a thing called Azure Security Center. We're not going to go deep into the security center in this video, but let me tell you what does security center do. So if I do security center. So security center monitors the status of anti-malware protection and reports this on the endpoint protection issues blade. So if you would have the security center enabled. So if I do endpoint protection recommendations here. And it would say that uh, security center notes issues such as detected threats, insufficient protection, and that might make your VMs and computers vulnerable for to malware threats. I will in future make a separate course on security center, but in terms of anti malware protection for VMs, I just want to give you some highlights of security center. And then we can plan to address any identified issues. So security center reports the endpoint protection issues as well. Endpoint protection not installed on the Azure VM. So let's say if there is a VM on which you have not installed endpoint protection, then security center would send a recommendation to you on this screen that uh, these VMs are not secured with anti-malware protections. And if you are, if if you're using the hybrid environment, it will also list the recommendations whereas anti-malware protection is not installed on your on-premises computers as well or non-Azure computers. And it will talk about the endpoint protection health issues as well. So let's say the signature are out of date. An anti-malware solution is installed on these VMs and computer, but the solution doesn't have the latest anti-malware signatures. And if there is no real-time protection enabled, on the anti-malware that is installed on your computer. And let's say if anti-malware solution is installed, but either its status is unknown or it's reporting an unknown error. So to deploy the anti-malware for Azure VMs, we have to first of all create an Azure VM with the anti-malware extension. So I go to click on home. I click on create a resource and I Click on Windows Server 2016 data center to create a new VM. So in here, I will create a new resource group. I will tell, uh, I will name it my resource group. I will name this my VM. I'm going to create it in East US. And now image is fine. No spot instance. Take the default size. I'm going to name it Ashish. I'm going to set the password. La la la. All right. I'm going to enter it again. I'm going to allow selected ports. I do not have a license. I'm going to click on next. I'm going to keep it default on networking. I'm going to go with default and on the management section, I will make sure that all of the things are set to off. Now, if you would see the advanced tab, you see the extension and you click on this option, select an extension to install, click on it. Now, these are the list of extensions that you can install. Now, I'm going to look for Microsoft Anti-Malware extension. I'm going to scroll down here. You see that Microsoft Anti-Malware. I'm going to click on it. Now, I'm going to click on Create. Create. Now, it will ask me uh, to uh, to click, you can configure, I can configure files, locations, process exclusions, and other scan options. So I'm going to do the scan day Saturday at 
point twenty is two AM. Right, and excluded processes that I want to mention any. So let's say in the excluded files and uh, uh, file extension, I write in MDF and I put in dot log files. I'm sorry, I type it in under ex excluded file extensions. And let's say under SQL, uh, under the processes, I type in SQL Server not exe real time protection is okay i click on okay so then you click on uh, review and create and then you click on create after it passes the validation test click on create it's initializing the deployment now submitting the deployment and we'll have to wait till the time it comes up so let me pause the video and come back all right it seems my deployment is complete i'm going to click on go to resource i'm going to note the public ip here i'm going to do the mstsc i'm going to log on to this VM it come up I'm gonna enter the username and password all right okay I'm gonna click on yes I'll let it come up please wait for the user profile service now I'm going to, I am logged on to this server and I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to click on updates and security in here. I'm going to click on windows defender. And if you would see the version info and the malware client interaction definition is this and uh, these are on if you want to add an exclusion here you can add the exclusion from here as well these are the files the log and MDF file that I selected first this is the uh, process wherein I selected while deploying it from the portal and you can add more here if you want you want to exclude a file you want to exclude a folder you can do it and this is how you would install the anti-malware extensions onto your Azure VMs. You can do it while the creation of a VMs and you can do it after the VM has been created. So if you want to do it after the VM has been created, you can go to the VM, click on extensions here under the settings tab and you can click on add. It will open up that extensions option for you again and you can install the anti-malware extension if you have not done it while the creation of a VM. So I hope you liked it. If you have any queries, please mention them in the comment section. Till next time, have a good day ahead. Bye-bye.